Hi guys! I'm going to show you how to make this little flower here. It's basically like just a regular lily, an origami lily, but I put three of them together. So I'm going to show you how to make the basic lily shape, and then show you how to put the three together, like this. Okay. So first you want to pick three colors that you want to go together. Take one, and then you want to fold it like this, in half that way, and then hold it in half on the opposite diagonal. And then you have an X, two valley folds. Then you want to flip it over, fold it in half this way to make two rectangles. Then unfold and flip the paper and do it the other way. You're going to have a plus. Take, the, take two of the corners in, or two of the sides in, and then just fold it flat so that it's a triangle. Fold this long side, fold it into the center, then unfold. Then you want to pick this whole thing up so that the, the entire flap is going up and then take that fold that you just make, made and open it up like this. So if you can see it this way. You made this fold. You want to separate these two pieces and then fold it out like this and squash it down like that. So then this fold, which was this used to be out here, is now going to be in the center. So then you want to do that to all of the all of the four edges. Another way you can do it, and now it's a little bit easier to do it on the second one, is you just take it, you open it up, and then you squash it down. But you want to make sure that 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 edge goes to the middle every single time. I'll show that one more time. So you take it and squash it down and make sure that this line goes right in the middle. And then do it to the last one. Then you want to fold this the top tip to the bottom. So you want to fold it directly in half just like that. Then you want to take the bottom, like there's the, the fatter point and the skinny point, so you want to take the bottom of the fat point and fold it in like this so that it reaches the middle, the center. So most of the folds in this involve folding something from the outside into the center. So if you just remember that, then that'll make it a lot easier. So then you just make those two folds and then unfold them. And then what you want to do is you're going to fold the, the folds that you just made and then fold them in the opposite direction and then fold it all the way up to the top. Like that. Then you want to do it on all four sides. Okay, I'll show that one more time. You fold into the center, then you fold it back, so you should see that you're making another triangle. So if you just stop it right here in the middle of the fold, you have the top triangle, but then you have, now with making these folds, you made a a bottom triangle that's exactly the same shape and size as that top one so you just fold them on top of each other and you just fold the bottom part down so now at this point you the top points here are like the top points right here so then the rest of it is just folding it and making it into the lily shape so you take all of those triangles that you just made that we talked about and you fold it back up to the top So then, just to make it a little bit skinnier, you want to take this edge side and fold it into the middle, just like we've been doing the whole time. Like that. Then repeat on all four sides. 
Okay, then there's that one like that, and then you have to open it up like this. And then you have these other sides to fold into the center. And to check to make sure you're folding it the right way, you want to make sure that there's a little fold out here, right here. So there's like a little pocket there. Because if you folded it the other way, it would just be blank like that. And you don't want that. You want the pocket to be there. Then fold this one in. If you open up the sides, so none of them are folded in anymore. So I'll show you that again. So this is it flat, like that. So then you just take this middle petal and open it up like that. So now you have like four sides of the same thing. So then what you want to do is you take the petal and fold it down as far as you can. So you don't want to rip any paper, but you want to fold it down so you can see these two little points right here. So do that for all four petals. Basically done with every fold that you have to do. So that's the, the end product of one lily. To make it a little bit fancier, you can curve the ends, the uh, ends of the petals like this. Then you have the finished lily. Then to stack it like this, you have to do one more step. See how I've, I've made it so that all the flowers lie flat against each other? So you can't do that with having these little things poking out on the bottom two. So you can only have the those things poking out on the top one. So I'm going to fold this back like this. And then just fold it like that. I'll show that again. So you just open up the side a little bit and you take this little corner and you flatten it out and then fold it back behind. And then you take that side and you pinch it in again so that the so that the petals are right next to each other again. So again, you separate the petal, fold this little part back, and then fold it back in. So then I'm going to make another one real fast. And I think I want the yellow one to go next. Okay, now I have the second flower, and I'm just going to insert it. I'm just going to insert the first, the second flower into the first flower, but I'm going to turn it 45 degrees. And then you just push it all the way in as far as it'll go. So see how it goes nice and flush against that? So it's nice like that. I'm going to curve with the edges. Then I'm going to make the third flower, but this time I'm going to leave the these little points coming back up. And now you have your last lily shape, and then you want to put it in so that it lies directly on top of the first one, so this bottom apricot colored one. And what I did with this one is I glued the edges together, just the, the edge of the purple of the pink one to the blue one. I actually left the purple one fine. It's fine just like that. So I just glued the two together so it wouldn't fall apart. A multi-layered li lily.